who said, man, I would let Hangaroo uh, rip my skin off any day. You're a real one. <laughs> Uh, hi, everybody. There's a little thing I wanted to do today. The designs of the pals and pal world, where I just discuss at you guys, and you guys go, Cosme, you have terrible ideas. And I'm like, shut up. Okay, so we should give actual titties to the following pals. What is your fucking list? Where's your fucking list, buddy? Who's? <laughs> okay, so we should give actual titties to the following pals, and there's no list afterwards. <laughs> She's going to smash and pass them, don't worry about it. No, I'm not going to smash and pass them. Mamorist, that is the only one. Oh my god! So, here's the thing. I have a theory that Pal World has a saturation of mammal and mammals that are dogs or uh, some sort of canine and mammals that are sheeps and rams. The Pal World Pal decks reminds me of if I were like a 14 year old and we're like, oh man, you know what? If I were in charge of Pokemon, this is what I would do. And you, you filled it in with like all your favorite little guys. And then you're like, oh, well, I need to, I need to make it a little bit weird. So I'll throw in a little bit of weird guys. And then you're like, oh, well, I also like plant ladies. So I'm going to put in like some specific plant ladies and dragons are cool and birds are I don't know, there's some birds and they got different elemental wings! It it feels a lot like that. And it's not so much it's it's a problem, it's more that I just notice that there's a lot of similarities with the designs of the creatures within the same game. <laughs> That's what my issue is with the <laughs> with the pals and pal world. Is that they don't have very like some of them have distinct designs, I'll be fair. Some of them are pretty distinct. Uh, Lavander is a creature that I'll uh, keep seeing in my nightmares. And like, Hangaroo is pretty uh, cool and unique. I'm not I'm not a big pedantic, like, son of a bitch, and I'm just gonna point at every single uh, pal and pal world and going, eh, eh, they're all terrible. No, 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 no. People in general, when they think of like, an animal, they think of a mammal, like specifically a mammal, usually like a dog or something, or like maybe a horse. Some sort of big charismatic megafauna. They're gonna look at a guy and go, that's an animal. And then like you show them a nematode and they're like, what the fuck is this? Where's the giraffe weevil pal world guy? I, 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 to be fair, there are some bug uh, pals in pal world, all right? But y you get what I mean, right? There's so much variety in bugs, invertebrate zoology, things that don't have a spine, you know? There's so much variety in that, and I see games just not utilize the full tree of life when they make their, you know, ecosystems and stuff. That I'm, it's not that I'm angry at them. I know it sounds like I'm a little bit angry at them. I'm not. God, no. I'm just like... If I were in charge here, there'd be so many sea spiders and spoon worms and bone eating worms and so many other weird worms that everyone would be looking at me like, this is just worm world. I'd be like, yes, worm world. Yes! <laughs> I'm normal. Mammals the most prevalent creatures? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's ants. In any case, the point I'm trying to make: if you're, if you want to make a weird environment, like artificial environment world game, kind of like Pal World, kind of like Pokemon, don't forget about the little, little guys. All right, that's all I'm saying. I don't think people do. I, 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 I don't think people forget about like moths and stuff, but. Sometimes it's just gonna get a little bit weird with it. Ah, uh, that's all I'm saying. Just get a little bit weird with it. You, you, you could keep it on theme. You could just get a little weird with it. Don't forget about, you know, ant. Worm. Fry if you lead him. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, lamb doll. Obviously is a sheep or a ram, clearly. Uh, Anubis, definitely a mammal dog. Um, Jorg Munder. I want to say it's it's sea creature or dragon. What do we think for Jorg Munder? 
I, it's like the Gyarados. Oh, look, it's Gyarados. Oh my god, they're they're plagiarizing Pokemon. They're not. <laughs> no, no, they're not. <laughs> if if you count this as plagiarism, then we're all fucked for the future. Okay, it sets up a bad precedent. I'm just saying. Um, I'm gonna put him in Sea Creature. I want to say that this is. I want to say it's more of a dragon, ain't it? Because he's got back legs, right? Here's how I'll de delineate dragon. Dragon has six limbs. You know, two legs and like two, uh, a pair of wings. Shit. We already have something with six le limbs. Um, how are we gonna deal with like the centaur guys? Are they, yeah, they would be called mammals, but they aren't also humanoid. But they're also mammals. But they're also humanoid. But also they might be dragons? <laughs> By my stupid ways. This is this is some very Linnaeus um uh, fucking categorization, ain't it? <laughs> I'm gonna say mammal other. Because they're mostly horse. And I'm going a little unhinged. Okay. Uh Joel Tog, mammal other. Uh, what's his name? He's just a weird guy. I, I, I actually, I kind of want to put him in Plant Lady. He's he's just a weird Plant Lady. What are we feeling on Gum Gum Goose? Whatever his name is, it's literally Sap. Yeah, I'm gonna say Plant Lady. Vixie, hey Vixie, you are definitely Mammal Dog. Uh, Hoot Crates, that's Bird. Uh, T-Fant, you're gonna go in Mammal Other. You are an elephant who is mostly a head. I don't want to think about it too much. <laughs> nope, not thinking about it too much. Um, Cremus, you are definitely another mammal dog. The Catamar Thomas, he goes to secret. The, whatever the guy, the, 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 the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy, Did you see the underside of this fucker? We're showing the, I'm showing you the underside of this guy. Look at this fucker, holy shit. Yeah, I want more of this shit in my video games about like creatures and stuff. Show me like, hey, this is a weird part of their biology. This is just their mouth on the underside of them. And if that, that, that's, how, that's how they eat. Kilimari, great po great pal, great pal. Great funny little pal, like that guy. All right, Mao. Mao is definitely a mammal other. I may like split up mammal other with like cat too, if this keeps going. Uh, dire howl wolf, that's... So similar to Lycan Rock. It's just. Hey, it goes into Mammal Dog! Toko Toko! Bird! Menace! Hangaroo! Weird guy! We got our first weird guy! Let's go, baby! Another Fire Ram. This game has two Fire Rams. Three if you want to count Incineram's second form. <laughs> Alright, Bird. Um, I'm gonna just put. You and humanoid. I don't know what the fuck this guy is. You look at the the Paldex and it's like, this is a guy that helps us understand um, when humans and pals split off evolutionarily or something like that. And I was like, okay. All right. You, you give me a small crumb of evolutionary biology in your games, and I will latch onto that like a little ant, ripping it apart bit by bit, brick by brick. Chewing on it for eternity. Uh, these fucking guys, because they produce fur, hear me out, because they produce fur and they have cat-like ears, like the, you literally get wool off of them, they are a mammal. Mammals produce hair. Ow, 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 ow! Gummus is powerful lady. Uh, yeah, but, but, but plant lady powerful. Yeah, Gummus is a beautiful plant lady. Just peak, peak female design. You may not like it, but this is what femininity is all about, baby. <laughs> this is the Wikipedia page for mammals. And the earliest members of the group. This is the earliest members. We don't have, I think the quadrate and the articular, those, uh, evolutionarily turn into, um, one of, what, uh, Malleus Incas estate, they, they, they turn into some of them. Oh, oh, hi, it's, it says it right there. Uh, crowned group of mammals, which means like, you know, further down the line. 
Um, Saturn is carried by the eardrum of three chain of bones. Uh, the malleus, incus, and stapes. Ancestrally, the malleus and incus are derived from the articular and quadrate bones. Just what I was alluding to! Let's fucking go, baby! I still remember words! Uh, that constitute the jaw joint of early therapsids. Ah, oh, I'm so brain! Um, hair is, hair is one of them. Hair and fur, basically whatever, you know, like, care uh, keratinaceous, um, filaments. So if there's a creature that's got, like, fur, spines, wool, nails, hooves, that's, that's mammal. So anyways, uh, back to the business. Sweet and sweet are definitely mammals. Based on the evidence that I've provided before you, these motherfuckers be mammal -a. Hey, even if you're bald, you're still a fucking mammal. All right, buddy? Um, Chillet. Chillet's gonna be a bit of a hard one because it is I technically know. a dragon oh. in game, but it doesn't have wings or something. Why did you make me bald? Oh. Yeah, even if, even if you're bald, you're still a mammal. I'm gonna be fucking bald for the rest of this video. Anyways, um, chill it. I'm gonna put it in dinosaur lizard. Its partner skill is wriggling weasel. So it may be a weasel. It can curl up its body and roll around at extremely high speeds. Long ago, people would tie bags of milk to domesticated chillet as they graze to produce butter using the spinning force. That doesn't really tell us what it is. <laughs> It has no indication that any of this is fur. I'm saying that this is a lizard, a, a dragon lizard thing. This is not a mammal. It doesn't have fur. Does it produce milk? It doesn't produce milk, but people will tie bags of milk to it. No, it does not produce milk. Does he have heterodontitian? I don't know. I haven't looked inside its mouth. <laughs> If we saw Chillet's skull, I could tell you for sure if it was a uh, lizard or a, or, or a mammal, for sure. Can I can I dissect a Chillet, get inside its skull, see if it's diapsid or synapsid, or you got, uh, you know, the weird, uh, you know, jaw stuff with its, uh, the quadratajugal joint and other words that I said earlier that make me sound smart. Bones. I want to see your bones! Can I steal your bones, please? You don't get to keep your bones when you're getting, uh, killed by me. I, I, I get to take your bones. I'm standing by my statement. Chillet is a dinosaur lizard. I am so angry at you right now. Chillet is an ice ferret. Chillet is not a ferret! Chillet is not a weasel! A ferret is a weasel! Yeah, I know. Chillet is not a mammal. Chillet is a dinosaur. I am standing by that statement. Chillet is a ferret. Chillet is a dinosaur and I'm standing by that statement. Show me the fur on Chillet. Show me the nails on Chillet. Oh, Show me that heterodontition on right Chillet. Show I me that live bird. I just did. Show me the nipples on Chillet. I just did. What? Oh, she's so cute! Yeah, it's Chillet! It's Chillet! Oh, she's so cute! Unfortunately, the moment that you make any creature into a, a monster girl, um, they are immediately a mammal because... I need to zoom in more. I, I, I need to zoom Fuck in you, more. Fuck you, Ice Ferret! It's important. It's important that I zoom in more. It's important that I zoom in more. It's important. 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 That reason! That reason right there! <laughs> but the moment you make a monster girl out of a monster, you are making them a mammal. Case in point. Exhibit A. I if the jury <laughs> would please <laughs> look at Exhibit A. I think we're good, right? <laughs> Here we are. A sick cue. There we go. That's that's who did the, this art. Always credit your artist, folks. Anyways, back to business. Chillin' is a fucking dinosaur! It's a lizard dinosaur! 
the the grim guy that's a spooky little guy who some sort of weird grim horse we're gonna put that in, i'm gonna have to split up mammal other into horse <laughs> we're, we're we're putting another one to horse we're putting another one for horse we're putting all the horses in here uh oh no we've already come into an issue do we count um odd toed ungulates or even toed ungulates as horse do we count things that have hooves? All things that have hooves as horse. Oh no. Oh no. Cause elk. Elk aren't horse. Elk are not horse. You just got cloth from Azero, the blue giant, it doesn't make it a mammal. I think Azero. I think those are the robes from Azero. And those are just. Those are- those are- those are cloth, made of cloth that it just produces on its own, so that would make it a mammal? No, 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 it's- it, it's- it's weird magic cloth. As a robe! As a robe! Azero mammal? <laughs> oh my god! Wait! What is happening now? Don't worry about it. Because we got like deer over here, we got the giraffes, we've got the rams over here as well. We've got the even toed ungulates that also includes the uh, boars and stuff. So we put the boar over there too. But the problem is are, are there whales? Are there whale pals? Oh my god. Does Azerobe count as a whale? It would be a mammal! Oh my god, is Azerobe a, a ma- a, a, a whale? Yeah, f fantastic use of my degree. Yeah, absolutely. I'm finally using my degree in my life. <laughs> this was going to be about me looking at the designs of Pal World and being like, You guys are way too mammal-based. Maybe dial it back a bit. Now it's just me trying to categorize creatures like Carl Linnaeus going into the world and grabbing these guys and putting them in categorical boxes because we just fucking love to do that as humans. Chill Part of the me, lizard shit. You goddamn giant forehead. I am going to laser blast you with my big real eye beams. Pshow, 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 right into your brain case. Chillit is a lizard and I will fight you to the death over this. Okay. You need a Relaxosaurus? Never. Putting another one, we're putting cats. I, I, I'm saying the Sweepas and Swoopas are cats. What are you? What even are you? I think it's a rat. I don't know, I think it's a rat. I think it's a rat. Germa, you'd be a rat. A rat. A rat. Dude, this image cuts off at the bottom of his feet. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, I need to get to this image. Look, there's his fucking feet! <laughs> Tiger tabby. No, it looks like a tabby. But look at those big fucking chonker feet. That's like a kangaroo rat. You. What the fuck are you? The reptor, reptar guy? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I don't fucking know what you are. Ruby. Child of the herd. A small deer. It looks like a fox, though. I think it's a deer with a really long, like, fluffy tail. Cause look at those fucking hooves. Those are some fucking hooves over there. Can we upgrade Drill Thwaz one rank because he mines entire ore veins in ten seconds? <laughs> this isn't that kind of tier list. What do you think you're gonna go uh, evolve him into a dragon because he can mine real good? No. You're an even toed ungulate. You get to go into the even toed. Holy shit! There's so many. Deer-like things. Blazemut. Cursed tyrant? Bipedal dinosaur with a gray mane. You just said two different things, though. Hold on. If he's got a mane, he's a mammal! If he's got d dinosaur features, then I don't know. Who are you? What are you? Ooh, uh. Yeah, I think this is a dinosaur lizard. I think I'm gonna put him into dinosaur. I'm putting him into science, so I'm making the executive decision just because he's got big mane of hair doesn't necessarily mean that he's a mammal. In this case, he's mostly, um, 
volcano guy. He's mostly a weird volcano guy that's dinosaur shaped. The hair is made out of Pele's hair. How about that? Even though it's brown. Don't think about it. So let's take a look here. Of all the creatures in Pal World, the one that's most common is obviously mammal, but it's a three-way tie between all other mammals, even toad ungulates, which is a very specific category, and bird. Like, I had to separate even toad ungulates and horses. Otherwise, hooved animals or hooved animals uh, and their friends, who's an azarobe, don't worry about azarobe. I would put, dude, look, if I was just doing this based off of um, design wise and not like evolutionarily speaking, because I got off on a bit of a tangent, it's fine. I have a degree in zoology. I can do that. I'm allowed to do that. In fact, I'm extremely valid to do that. No. Ow! Ah! Oh! Oh, why did you melt me? I was just thinking about in general, that what inspired this was me looking at these guys and going like, Vixie and Cremus are very similar. Not to be like, oh, Pokemon power, bleh, uh, but these three, they're all just Eevee. <laughs> this is just Eevee and three remixed Eevees. <laughs> Which means to me, in terms of bringing this back to on theme, is that they all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same. Obviously, they are very different. Cremus is beautiful and adorable and puffs up his cute little fluff over his head. But Vixie, why is Vixie here? Why couldn't you have, like, combined these two? Or, like, at least did some sort of theming where one of them's, like, like sun-based and one of them's night-based or something. I don't know. I feel like, design-wise, they're too similar. Yeah, there's just, like, a lot of creatures that have hooves. Just, just hooves in general. Look, I know, I know Azerobe. They did. Azerobe's there because, um, because I say so. Make your own goddamn tier list if you disagree with me this much and I'll fight you to the death. It'll be funny. Also, there's just a lot of, like, bird. You got your normal bird, you got your electric bird, you got your fire bird, you got your electric bird, you got your fire bird, you got your fire bird, you got your fire bird. You your fire bird. There's a lot of birds. <laughs> There's a lot of birds. There's just a lot of fucking mammals. I let, let me count them out. I think this game is like half mammal. For, 49? What's the number after 49? 4... 50. So that's over uh, half of them are mammals. L literally just a little bit over half are mammals. And you could say that the humanoid ones are mammals. You could make the argument that anything that's humanoid shape is a mammal. And I would accept that argument. In fact, I'm gonna move these guys up. The rainbow's gonna be off. I don't. Uh, I, uh, oh no, the ra the rainbow's really off. Oh, I need. Oh, I need to change that. What a fun fact: uh, there are no legs inside the pants on Bushies in game model. The legs, legs are just are open. Just empty pants. <laughs> They're just open pants. Wild. Does that mean that these are hooves and this is another even toed ungulate? <laughs> Is Boshi a deer? None of them would pass the Harkness test. Yeah, none of them would pass the Harkness test. That's the problem. They speak? What do you mean they speak? No, no. The pals cannot pass a Harkness test. I'm putting a line in the fucking sand. Pals do not pass a Harkness test. What's the Harkness test? <sighs> Hold on. Whether, whether you should or shouldn't. Had me. Had you didn't learn about this in grad school? Well, get buckled up. This is a real life stuff that you're gonna need to know for the future. I'm pretty sure some of them know Human sign intelligence or, or greater. Adoption on talk or otherwise lavender. communicate with language of sexual maturity for its species. Yes. Yeah. They're all gonna go. Oh, <laughs> they're all gonna sound like fucking banjo kazooie at you without the helpful subtitles underneath. I think it's important to stay at the very bottom. Body language is a dangerous road. Yes. Only rely on it if both parties have attempted communication. Through you have to means. have clear communication where both parties understand the words that are being said. 
So talking Meowth passes the Harkness test, another Pokemon don't. Yes! Exactly. Meowth and Mewtwo both pass the Harkness test! We've gone over this! Scooby-Doo passes the Harkness test! We all know this! That doesn't mean that Scooby-Doo will want to! That just means that Scooby-Doo can! I want to circle back to the guy who said, man, I would let Hangaroo uh, rip my skin off any day. You're a real one. <laughs> I'm going to take the Meowth question and completely shoot it in the head and kill it where it stands. Yeah. Because... All right, so everyone the meme has reached peak. I will be bringing in order for so consent make sure you to be possible, communication has to continue to be <gasps> possible. Oh god! No, and... Meowth has to be in the room with you! Oh no! No! No, 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 Meowth did no, no, no! <laughs> Think Meowth isn't gonna be there with you. No! Therefore, the no! answer is no. No! We're, we're, I'm done here. Sorry, I broke everything. I broke my brain! <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go play Wow World. Bye, everybody. Yeah, but I'm normal, all right? No. Yeah, I am the most normal, though, because I, I love am the most thing, normal human being on this planet Earth. No.